Yeah. People think this boy is going mad. This is the craziest thing I've ever done in my entire life. But I'm not scared because I'm in the cleanest city in Africa. This is Kigali. Look at me sitting inside a gutter eating without thinking of getting sick. Bro, you just have to get to Kigali, man. This place is super clean. Look at the gutter, man. Just have a look. But first of all, let me take you to the street of Kigali and look it for yourself and see how clean Kigali is. Did you guys see how super clean Kigali is? <laughs> I am Maya, seeing is believing. But I'm not from this country. I got a brother here, a friend, also a YouTuber, and he's gonna tell us why Kigali is this super clean. My brother, yes, my welcome brother. to the Water Maya Show. You, Hi, good to see you, man. See you too. What's your name and the name my of your name channel? Is Justin Kairanga. You know, I have a channel on YouTube. It's called Justin Kairanga. Justin. Kairanga. Yes. My brother, are you from Kigali? I'm from Kigali. You, see? you were born here? Of course. Bro, I'm really amazed. How? I can't believe how clean Kigali is. This is the first country I've ever visited to see how clean this place is. Really? Bro, can you tell me and educate the people watching us, how come Kigali is this super clean? Very simple, very simple because this is a, like a government policy. They have just set like a schedule okay. where people work hourly are in the morning and they come before there is a traffic jam and they be, they, they begin to clean city clean uh, like streets like in the morning in the morning they like, wake up like 5 a.m 5 a.m yeah. just to clean the street 5 30 they are done wow sure do you have anything to add to it the other thing uh -huh. seeing like government has put uh, like strength just to strengthening that policy even people citizens okay they are feeling like mm -hmm. This is their duty. Wow. They cannot see any dust across the road and wow. leave it there. They take it and throw it like in a, in a dustbin. In a dustbin, yes. Oh, so that is why there is dustbin everywhere in the country because sure. everywhere I've been to, I see dustbin everywhere. Yeah, you know the amazing thing. Uh huh. Every last Saturday. Of okay. The month, okay. People in villages, okay. like in in sectors, uh -huh. they will wake up early, like 7 a.m. They come together. Wow. They start to do like uh, a community. Community work. Community, work. community work just to clean the city to clean streets, is, is it just in by creating like uh, roads in the in their neighbor neighborhood is it just in Kigali or across the whole country the whole country 
from Kigali, from northern province, wow. southern, eastern, and western. Wow! Yeah. Now I really believe this. And also, I heard that uh, plastic bags are banned in Kigali, in, in Rwanda. Is it true? You cannot find any plastic plastic bags. You know, before people used to go to market with plastic bags. Okay. But nowadays they are using paper bags. Paper bags. Just that's for environment. You know? Wow! Oh. And I think Af most African countries should learn from this, right? Of course, that's why you came here in Rwanda. Just, you have to find the reality. Come and visit Rwanda people. There are many things to run here in Kigali. There are many things to see here in Rwanda. Sure. That is why I'm telling you that most African countries can learn from each other. This is something that I've never seen in any African country that sure. I've been to. Rwanda. Much respect this to you. This is Kigali. This is Kigali. <laughs> I am my. You know, visit Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to buy that ticket today and come see Rwanda for yourself. I am Maya. Peace out. Four, three, 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 three,